Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at another limit with an indeterminate form, but this one, since it involves a square root, we can use the conjugate. So let's check first that there is an indeterminate form. We're gonna plug in h equal to zero, and notice h occurs in the numerator inside that square root, so you'll get 16 plus zero, Square root of 16 is gonna be four minus four, you get zero over zero, so we have an indeterminate form. And that's our clue or suggestion to try an algebraic trick. And almost always when you have square roots, you can use the conjugate, multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate to eliminate the indeterminate form. So if we take a look at our numerator, that contains the radical or square root. You have square root of 16 plus h minus four. The conjugate of that, we just change the sign between the terms. So the conjugate would be the square root of 16 plus h, but plus four. All right, so our first step we're gonna multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate here. So let's write that out. We still have the limit as h approaches zero. We're gonna keep the original function here. And now we're gonna multiply the numerator by the conjugate and we're gonna multiply the denominator by the conjugate. So numerator is being multiplied by the square root of 16 plus h, but plus four. And we're multiplying the denominator by the same thing. All right, and it's worth pointing out algebraically what we're doing here. Here, we're multiplying by one, which is allowed algebraically. You can always multiply a quantity or expression by one, and it doesn't change it. All right, now the rest of the work here, why we use the conjugate is when you have an expression being multiplied by its conjugate, the square roots or radicals should cancel out everywhere. So let's go ahead and go through that work of multiplying the numerators. Square root of 16 plus h minus four, and that numerator is gonna be multiplying the conjugate, the square root of 16 plus h, but now plus four. And this we can multiply, foil or expand as normal. Multiply your first terms. We have a square root times itself. That should cancel, leaving you with the inside, 16 plus h. You have your outers, plus four, times the square root of 16 plus h. Your inners, minus four, times the square root of 16 plus h. And don't forget multiplying the last terms, those will come out to negative 16. All right, now thinking back to algebra, your goal of using the conjugate was to have an expression with no more radicals or square roots. And here, the outers and inners certainly cancel. But we can go a little bit further, 16 and negative 16, those cancel out as well, and leaving us with just h. And that's really nice because if we multiply those numerators, it simplifies to just h. All right, and that's most of the work for this problem. Let's go ahead and carry that down. We have the limit as h approaches zero. We just multiplied out the numerators. That came out to h. And we're going to keep h in front of this denominator. We're not gonna multiply it to each term because it's gonna cancel out right now. So let's write this as h times, in parentheses, the square root of 16 plus h, but plus four. And it's at this step that the indeterminate form cancels. Since we're taking a limit as h approaches zero, h never equals zero, so you can cancel them out and we have the limit as h approaches zero of an expression here 
that has no more indeterminate form. So here you can just plug in h as zero and it looks like we're gonna be left with the square root of 16 in that denominator, which is four. So we get one over four plus four. And that limit comes out to one eighth. All right, now here it was maybe a little bit tricky since maybe your algebra course was a while ago, but with practice, using the conjugate will be a piece of cake for you. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're learning a lot. If you are, like and subscribe.